Hey Simmers, in this video I'm going over the Insomnia Cookies mod. I think this has been really well overdue on my channel. I'm honestly shocked that I spent this long not getting this mod on there like as a tutorial I'm so sorry um, but anyway if you are installing this mod please make sure you read the description it is going to let you know what is updated when it was updated and the reason why that is important information for you is because if you get an outdated version it will not work also keep in mind that it will tell you what packs are required optional and not required okay so like if it's not listed, it's not required, okay? But City Living Expansion Pack is required for this. So if you do not have that expansion pack, then you can't get this mod because it's not going to work. Um, Dine Out is optional. So if you have it, cool. If you don't, oops, you know, like it's just kind of one of those situations. If you guys want to know about a place that basically has discounted packs, I recommend CD Keys and the other one starts with an E and I can't think. Instant Gaming. That's actually not an E, that's an I. But anyway, Instant Gaming and CD Keys are both great places to go to get discounted packs, all right? Before we get going, though, I want to let you guys know about the Everything Mods installation course. You have a chance to win a pack of your choosing by getting this course. Inside this course, we go over Everything Mods, so that's why it's called that, so you can get help with anything you may need help on. All right, what we're going to do, I'm going to do fast because I don't really care for things to be slow. I'm very impatient, so I'm going to get the Recipes Fast package and download that first on my computer it likes to show me what I'm about to download first before it just downloads at the bottom of the screen it used to do that it doesn't do that anymore so what I typically do is just save it as whatever name it was already called and then I access it from my download section so I'm gonna do fast and then I'm gonna do insomnia cookies posters because I do have snowy escape and I am going to do the cookies sign because I do have get to work. So I'm going to do the circular sign. And then you will see the insomnia cookies stall package. So I'm just going to download that. And then it says insomnia cookies Coachella, please read how to install package. Okay. So it basically lets you know that there's a Coachella version. And if you need to know how to install that, it will be somewhere around here. It said for the recipes, there are two versions, choose only one. So what that means guys is I chose fast. Okay. So if you want slow, choose slow. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you can only choose one. So make sure that you're not choosing both of them because it's not going to work that way okay don't forget to download the custom saw package because that's the most important file and they're trying to let you know that okay it says drag and drop the package files directly in your mods folder okay so make sure you read through that as well so you ma you make sure you're not missing out on anything okay i'm not going to do the coachella because obviously i did not read through that on how to properly install that so i'm not going to do that but if you you want to do that there's a button at the top of this description and you will click the updated version right there and it will walk you through that Coachella part okay all right let's get going so once you have these files downloaded you will see pages they are not in zip files they are pages so the automatic thing I do in this case is I go to the bottom and I select the file explorer tab so to get there you basically go to the bottom of your screen and you select file explorer once you do that, you go into the documents folder. Now, if you do not see a documents folder or EA folder, please load up your game. You're probably brand new and the computer is not registered that you have an EA folder. So go into the game, spend some time on Sims and then exit the game. Now, once you're in the EA folder, click on the Sims 4 folder and then go ahead and select the mods folder. A lot of times what I would say in a lot of my videos is delete the local thumb cache. But if for some reason you cannot find it, please do not freak out. It is not that important. It is just something I like to do to free up space and make sure my mods work, okay? So if you guys are aware of any type of online internet things, such as, you know, apps and stuff like that, clearing the cache is really good for, you know, the game. So it just helps out. It leaves, it leaves little room for mess ups. Once you do that, click on the mods folder. And then this is where you're gonna just drag the folder wherever you're comfortable and then go back to the bottom of the screen again, right click, select file explorer, and then go to your downloads. Now, this is super, super simple, guys. You can choose to just throw the pages in here like I've done with some mods, or if you super, super, super are OCD, you can organize it. Right click in your mods folder and go ahead and select new. 
and then you can call the folder whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to call this one is Insomnia Cookies because that's what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename it and we're going to call it All right, and press enter. Once you do that, you want to double click that folder so you can be, you know, inside the folder. And then you're going to select the downloads folder. Once you're here, go ahead and hover over these pages, right click and select copy. All right. Once you do that, paste. And there you go. You have the file that you need already inside. So the pages are in the mods folder. You don't have to worry about anything. So we're going to click exit and you're good to go. Make sure you go into your game option settings and select CC and make sure you select um, script for mods. You need to have those on so that way your mods will work properly. If you do not know how to do that, feel free to go to my channel and check out the video that shows you how to enable your Sims 4 game options for mods. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate every single last one of you. I am sending you guys virtual hugs. If you haven't already, sub to the channel, like the video, and comment what mods you may want to see next. Thank you guys so much and you guys have a wonderful rest of the day.